Hello everybody. Today I would like to show a quick fix demo to help you resolve a star point surface mismatch issue when using Rhino 6 sub D. Okay, firstly to be able to follow this demo, you will need to know how to create sub D surfaces inside Rhino 6. Perhaps if you have not done so, you might want to watch some of my previous videos pertaining to this topic. Okay, let's start. Okay, now in the 3D environment, I have a, a mesh of object. Okay, now uh, I would like to convert this to, to sub D. So at the command prompt, you type sub D from mesh. Okay. Press enter, it asks you to select the meshes, select and press enter and for our case, I want to delete the, the input, okay, then press enter. So I got my sub D. Okay, as you may know, uh, sub, sub D inside Rhino are not really NURB surfaces, so we need to do another conversion to convert this object to NURBs. To do that, at the command prompt, type to NURBs. Press enter, select object, press enter. Okay, for me, I want to delete the input of, uh, object, okay? So I press enter. Yeah, so now I have the NURB surfaces. Okay, so let us do a uh, zebra analysis to check the surface quality. So go to analyze, surface, zebra. You'll notice that okay at the area of the star point this is what i call a star half point that there is uh, some uh, mismatch of the surfaces so in this demo i want to show you how we can do a quick fix to solve this issue over here basically what i'm going to do is to create a patch at that region followed by a surface blend okay so uh, let me show you now before we do that, before we do the patch, we need to uh, lay a little bit of uh, ground groundwork. So uh, what we need to do is to find the find the find the the location here and put a put a point at the center of the star. So uh, click on the what I'll do is I click on the point object and snap it at the center of the star. Okay, so you can see that I have a point, which I will use as one of the elements when creating the patch. Okay, so now um, you might want to use the circle to to place it at the region of the star star point. So I go to place the circle here that will be uh, to a size that will be able to cover the the the, the mismatch uh, surfaces so i think it should be around this size here okay yeah okay so okay let, let us just turn the points on you notice that um that the control points are not really very well aligned so let me do this uh circle creation again how do we resolve this so what you can do is uh, when you cl uh, click the circle, you might want to press and hold the shift key to make sure that your circle is uh, created in auto mode. Okay, so now you can see that the control points are well, well aligned. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to rotate the circle to better match the the, the surface the surrounding surface so let's use the gumball to do that yeah i think i roughly got got this thing here okay now i want to use the pull curve to to create a curve on surface that is uh, on the surfaces them, themselves. Okay, so 
you can go to curve from objects use this command pull curve so it asks me select curve to pull so this is the curve that I want to pull press enter now it asks me to select the surfaces that pull so select all the surfaces that you have created around that region press enter okay you can see now we have a new curve on the surface okay I'm going to delete the original curve so that you can see uh, what I'm going to do next better so delete the original circle that I created now what I want to do is to trim away this this region so very easily you can use the trim command so type trim or click the trim icon select the cutting objects which are the projected curves on the surfaces press enter select object to trim okay so we have trim a hole there okay now I want to create the patch okay let me just hide away this uh, curve so that you know that uh, I'm not using the curve to do the, the, the patch okay so let's do a patch so go to surface creation patch okay now ask you to select the, the, the curve or the edges so now I can select all this okay and plus the, the, the center uh, point that you created press enter okay to, uh, make sure that adjust tendency is turned on because you want to do a ten tangent match okay you might want to do a preview to see your input okay you might want to also play with the stiffness value see let's say I set this to a low value you notice that there are some kind of misalignment so I'm going to up the value a bit to improve the 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 the, 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 the iso curve flow okay so yeah I think I'm quite happy with uh, this setting so I click OK okay so let's do the zebra analysis again analyze surface zebra okay the surface matching is uh, better now can you see it's, it's, it's bad, better now but um, from my experience it's uh, not advisable to just use a, a, a patch to to fill up a, a region because a patch has this inherent quality of uh, uh, making gaps and holes so and also because uh, it's matching is actually only up to uh, ten tangency if you want to have a smoother uh, matching you might want to uh, use another command to fill up the 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 the, the edge region so what I'm going to do is I go to create a equidistant gap around this edge and then use a blend surface to to create a, a better match surface Okay, so how, how do we do that? You can go to circle around curve to create a, a, a circle. So let me just uh, create a circle around here. Okay. Around, around this, this size. Okay. So now I want to bring back the the previous curves that we have created okay so you notice that okay they're not appearing okay it is um now what, what, I, what I need to do is actually to create a curve around this re region here okay so uh what I can do is uh use the duplicate edge select the uh, your, your your patch of object okay your patch object press enter and you notice that we have a new new curve that's been created over here and 
you can use this this curve as the rail of a of a sweep sweep one command okay so okay you can use this curve here can you see this curve if the curve is not giving you uh, uh evenly spaced control point you might also want to use the rebuild command to to create a a, a better curve okay so i want to do a re rebuild or just to just to show you what what i meant okay so I click this. okay so now i have re rebuilt the 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 curve okay so now uh i'll go to sweep one rail to create a uh, sort of a pipe around this this edge here so it asked me to select rail so my rail is the curve that i have created i asked to select cross section cross section is a circle that i created so press enter, enter so we get get something like like that okay so click okay so you might be wondering what is the purpose of creating a pipe around here the purpose is to or having this this pipe is to do a split so that we get a equidistant uh, trim around this region here so let me show you how to do it so i'm going to use a split command select object to split the patch and the surrounding uh, surfaces press enter select cutting object your cutting object is the part that you created press enter Okay, so now we can delete the, the, the pipe, we don't, don't need it. So, and we also can delete away the the, the splitted re region. So this part you don't need, this part you don't need. Okay, so we have something like that. Okay, to make it easier for us to, to visualize, I'm going to hide all the unnecessary elements in the scene. So I'm going to do a reverse hide. Yeah, so you can see there's an equidistant gap around this region so now what we can do to create a curvature blend over here is to use the blend surface command okay so select first edge so you might want to change the select the edge change to uh change edge to auto chain okay so click on this so you get the first edge now it asks you for the second edge so click on this i think we have to man manually okay so, okay yeah so i did so maybe let me just move move this around move this here okay this here. This here. okay so press enter okay make sure that uh, the, the 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 blends on each side is set to curvature so one i set to curvature two i set set to curvature you might want to do a, a visual check to see whether the the isocurls are uh, nice nicely placed if they are having some kind of a, like a band around here you might want to use the edge shape to sort of like straighten up the the eye so curves okay so i think i'm quite happy with the with the result so i'm going to click the o, okay click okay so now let's um do a join okay so Let's do a zebra analysis again. Analyze surface zebra. Okay, you can see that now now the matching is uh slightly better. You, at least over here you you don't see the star point mismatch over here and, and anymore. Okay, so yeah, that concludes um our quick de demo on how to fix the star point mismatch issue when using the Right, Rhino 6 uh, sub D. Okay, hope that uh, this uh, demo has been useful to you. See you around. Bye.